Hi guys, Possessed Sunny Plays here again. So I'm not going over time a couple of minutes. I did some editing. So I the game feel like some part feel like choppy. Good work on freedom's progress. The I had to do it, you know, for Eddie Reason. Yeah, I know what you do, but surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omni tool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing, but more important, wow, confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Money be way you are that. Tell me who are they? They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. No. Omega-4? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best thing is to insist so, honestly. ...to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough. To hey, back. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Yeah, I want you to let too, honestly. From these deals. The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slaves to to. exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the wow. sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The collectors are definitely a human enemy, but how do we know there's a AOR. Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed. Some wow, really? Yes, we have an honestly. The Alliance and the Council refused to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Yeah, I must update my sound volume to get better on my mic. My voice is not as loud as it used to be. We're a really yep. good team. <coughs> They compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Wow. Convincing them <laughs> That'd be easy, honestly. But you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make this is phase one. There are two phases of this game. Phase one, ganking. Second phase is like doing team stuff. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. I'm gonna ask about all my people. I know. That's for you. She's still with the Alliance. Promoted. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Tally. She already you already know that. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Wow. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she's... Oh, really? Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collector. I'm ready now. I'm sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant soldier. Yeah. Our 
intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Oh my! I don't believe it! Just like old times, huh? Yoko. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got Can I? A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. I well, this I did lie about the new ship. This is our new ship. The SR2 Normandy. Yeah, I'm making all my names up badly. It's so it's not that bad. What the good guys sort of? It's the kind of bad guys, but you know, but the good guys here. Kind of, but, but the great guys. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Well, we name it get for pretty obvious. I love this scene so much. The opening of the ship. The name. Well, okay, we all know what the name is going to be, but, you know. It's coming out. It's launching. SR2 is launching now. Yay. Done. Yeah. Also, in this game, we get a first DLC character. Where we go there. Basically, he's a mock. Pretty good character. Okay, I'm sorry, this boy, but he's not bad interesting. He basically is the first DLC character they made, so he. I mean, it's basically like basically very generic. Wow, amazing, isn't this? The Normandy is on to the whole brand new. I need a brighter screen for us all because I forget how to screen though. Basically, right now. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Yeah, we're going to tour our ship. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. This is my you ship. Still don't get it, do you? You're yeah. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Wow. Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial... Hey, yeah, yeah, hey. Hello. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Yeah. Hello, the Normandy. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I okay. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Wow. Take up for complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return Honey. to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. 
basically, um, they I might talk to them after we finish the fourth mission. But I'm going to talk to the crew first. We have picked some side quests up for them. This is where we got five messages from. And this, and this is the arm we will customize our weapons for each squad during the next mission. We don't have many guns in this game, so I can leave it you. Wait, 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 guns? Yeah, yes and no. This is the elevator, because the ship is double the size in the elevator. We do the only from the captain's quarters. I'm a fucking amazing looking. The tech lab. This is where we get upgrades when we have a scientist with us. Weapons, gear, a whole bunch of other fun stuff too. I'm going to save right now. This was the fourth Mass Effect game I played. I know it's funny to start saying, but we're going to get a fourth one, but some things happen with me. The systems align with elaborate. In the early 20s, the Elcor, living beyond the Collectors. I just want to make some people we're dealing with. And we're dealing with, honestly. By most in galactic society. In reality, collectors are human sized insectoid bipeds and can resemble massive winged beetles. Wow. Force in the galaxy, responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. Well, collectors generate permanent stasis fields around themselves, creating nightmarish red shifted energy fields. In battle, they hold position whenever possible, relying on their aggressive biotics and nearly limitless power. Several types of bipedal collectors have been identified, including minions, defenders, zealots, assassins, yeah, well, we and artillery operators. Acting together, collectors have imprisoned entire cities in stasis. Yep. Definite forensic accounting exists to explain the fate of those imprisoned. Leading speculation is that victims are harvested for scientific experimentation and neurobiological repurposing. The bad guys. Freedom's Progress Colony was once a typical Alliance settlement. Yeah, I just want to so what we're doing back there, honestly. And its apparent destruction is now a lightning rod for anxiety and dread in the galactic human community. The communication... Yeah. An upgrade of the colony's small military force, supplemented by mechs and security drones. Yeah. Tower-mounted guardian lasers. Colonists complained about construction cost overruns. Wow. Noise and damage to the local environment. They also feared the defense array could be seen as provocative to their world's neighbors. Such fears may not have been baseless. Authorities have yeah. no explanation for the communications blackout, fueling rumors of plagues. Natural disasters or a cult inspired mass suicide. Located in strategically insignificant space. Wow. Progress colony had once offered residents spectacular hey, Tony. Lands, lush marshlands and stunning. Wow, that's nice. Its potential as an agricultural settlement and tourism wonderland rivaled that of any alliance colony. Yeah, why would one tell a hero? I don't know. It's not the place where thieves and murderers live. I didn't find dumb on this. I know why we did it. Monica wore wireless stuff. Assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I handle my own business. I understand. I won't bother you unless it's important. Anything else, Commander? Uh, you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Formation. How do you feel about being assigned to the Norman? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But most yeah. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. 
Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. Yeah, we may. They're great guys. Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My yeah. Dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Panar. That isn't a yeah, we top of Cerberus yeah. ideals. Okay then. You're fooling yourself if you believe Cerberus is noble. I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope time will change your mind. Anything else? Yeah, I'll try so I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Being said, a place to do. Unwear messages. The bunch of people Yeah, I'm gonna talk to. I mean, wonder why I'm not going to mention. Uh, one, because I'm tired. Number two, I feel like for me, what I'm trying to put it should be easier for us. Cause the Joker of Elm will go on my adventure afterwards. He know. You feel a ship, honestly. Fits me like a glove and leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first gen, wow. Less of the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship. Camping. Yeah. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite. You have no choice. Choice ever. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI one. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. I'm going to talk to her later on after we go find one of our friends. Yeah, basically. We need a scientist for the lab to come online. This is the armory. Yeah, we can. What we can tell right now is this laser being done. No. Basically, he's the armory guy right now. Hey, Leo. Yeah. Basically, you said, we were having a private terminal for a Oh, you can do this now. Yeah, that never goes. But we need a few up. A mayor is a crappy place. But yeah, you know what I said it was up being nice? This is why the red like dark city underbury crime crap hole still there. Look. Still nice, so it's a bit like they said they're opposite. Finally, we're in gangland. Hey Leo. Well, welcome to Gangland. I mean, well, you know, Gangland 2.0. Hey Leo. Basically, we can't find right now. Hey Leo. Hey Leo. Hello, Leo. Uh, 
Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, no. I was just... Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mockley. Whatever she wants. That's definitely fine. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Yes, Arya wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the... Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. Good night, guys. Hey, good